Suman Datta is the Freeman Engineering Professor in the College of Engineering. Now, recently, Professor Datta and his team at Notre Dame were selected to lead a foundational multidisciplinary research center that will share $26 million in funding to expand the growth and leadership of the U.S. semiconductor industry. Now, their goal is to invent the next fastest computer processor. Suman, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Uh, first, for uh, those who may not be familiar with semiconductors, such as myself, uh, can you explain uh, what semiconductors do and how they kind of impact our lives? Definitely. So many people don't realize that semiconductor is one of the most powerful invention by humans. A recent poll suggested that semiconductor ranks about fourth in the list amongst all inventions by human mankind, wow. right behind electricity, <laughs> printing press, and penicillin. So semiconductors form the core material that goes into any electronic product that you and I uh, use in our day-to-day -day lives. And that goes from your Fitbits to your smartphones to your personal computers to your flat panel displays and on and on and on. Uh, also, semiconductor turns out to be the third largest manufactured export by United States. So it creates a lot of jobs at home mm. and it fuels a lot of innovation in our country. So it's a very uh, powerful material. Yeah, I had no idea it was, uh, it was so important. Also, we have to say congratulations to you on, uh, on the research grants at the new research center. Can you tell us a little bit about the research center and why uh, it can really help the research that you're doing? Definitely. We are totally psyched and totally excited about this new multidisciplinary and multi-university research uh, center that we are leading uh, at Notre Dame. And uh, the main uh, focus of our research center is to address these fundamental challenges that are associated, associated with semiconductor scaling. You know, many of you guys are uh, enjoying the enormous advantages of having a very powerful computer <laughs> that you can carry in your, in your pockets today, and that's enabled by semiconductor. But there are challenges because you can't split atoms. So the foremost goals of our center is try to understand these fundamental roadblocks and do innovations at the materials level, new device level, new circuits level, and new architecture level to actually get past those red brick walls and, and, and go forward. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a research center that is sponsored by a joint public and private partnership. So we have the United Department of Defense, which is DARPA, mm -hmm. putting in money to support this research, as well as we have all the leading U.S. semiconductor companies that are also putting in about 50% of the research money. So we are greatly excited to work with this, with this joint public-private uh, uh, partnership. Yeah, Notre Dame seems to be really a, kind of leading the charge here. But as you said, there are so many other partners that are uh, helping you guys out in all this. Yes, so we are the lead institution, but we cannot carry this burden. This is a tremendous burden to carry uh, in, a, in a good way. So we are actually joined by uh, 12 other universities. So starting from the West Coast, we have the University of California schools, including Berkeley and Stanford. Uh, we have uh, folks from the, the mountain part of the country, Arizona State and University of Colorado. From the Midwest, we have Notre Dame, Purdue, and Minnesota. And then uh, as we move to the East Coast, we have Georgia Tech and Cornell, who are helping us with this enormous R&D effort uh, so that we can break through those red brick walls and continue with <laughs> semiconductor scaling. Wow, just uh, incredible work, of course, uh, led by you and, uh, and Notre Dame, but really interesting to hear about how this is, uh, this is a nationwide effort to get this done. Uh, Professor Suman Dada, one of the uh, leaders in the semiconductor research field, thank you so much for joining us on Notre Dame Day.